Hello, and welcome back to another JoyPro tutorial. Today we are talking about the manual database items. Why would you need a manual database? Well, in DCS there are a lot of key commands which are hidden to the users, which you can only basically make possible either by adding it to the default Lua or add it with the command in uh, having the hash for it, so to say. So. When you have added the default lure, it will show in game. However, the problem with that is that it will only be in Choipro once you export your entire database, as it is shown in video tutorial 9. The problem with that is for all default planes, every time Choipro has an update, you get the entire database as if I see something has been updated, I ship you the new HTML file so you don't have to update it. However, if you have like those specific types of stuff in your default lanes which you want to enhance or show, then there is an option for a manual database which persists over updates and you can add stuff to it like as you would with the default Lua or rather if you have the hashes for it. So let's go over it and show you how it works. First you have to click on settings, then on manual database entries and this opens a new window. So on the left side I have here a couple of commands which are um, not existent in DCS itself but it exists on every plane. Like the command menu item 1, like everything highlighted here green is like basically exists in DCS but it's hidden to the user. So let's just, you have to select first the game here, in our case DCS, then plane as I know this command exists on all planes, I have to select all. Then we have to do the ID, copy it, paste it, then come up with a description. Because I manually added and I want to highlight that it's manual, I just write manual underscore underscore command underscore menu underscore item underscore one. So it's really highlights when we look for in the database for it. So I have to press add now, and now we see we have a added for all the planes that it detects for us that we have. So then we close it and close also the settings entirely. Then we click on add relation or if we want to edit a relation, let's just quickly call that cd menu menu one and we called it uh, menu something with underscores. Okay, manual, command menu item there. We see it's there basically on no for every plane and we can add it to our relation as we usually would do it. As you see here, it's now added for every plane and you can export it into DCS and it would persist. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.